Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. In this one, we are going to be dealing with... Uh, or at least we should be dealing with Duke's Death Rage. Don't think it's going to take us too long to get to get there, so... Uh, so yeah, don't worry about that too much. Obviously, I've cleared out a few enemies, uh, so... We have a few souls to spend, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys us going off to do that before we go ahead and... Begin dealing with the, uh, the end part of Brightstone Cove. Now, uh, directly after doing the part that we're about to do... I'm going to recommend that you guys do a couple of runs, and we may well do a second run in this video. Um, simply because the uh, the New Game Plus boss soul for, for the boss we're about to face drops an upgraded soul, which is what you were able to convert into either the Moonlight Greatsword, if you are uh, specced in such a way in which you can, can wield a strong strong weapon like that, uh, but also the Crystal Soul Spear, which is an upgraded variant of the Soul Spear that we're already using. Now, I'm undecided as to whether or not, as to which one is actually superior for PvE. Crystal Soul Spear is definitely better for PvP, uh, just because it, in theory, should need less, less cast to, to end a match. But I think total damage from normal Soul Spears would be higher. Um, in the equivalent amount of slots, and the reason I'm saying that is because, um... Crystal Soul Spear will take two attunement slots um, for each instance that you have equipped. So where we have like nine slots, we're only going to be able to fit like three if you want to have any like spells around it. Whereas Soul Spear we can we can fit a few instances of, which is kind of nice. Um, obviously we also kind of have space for one more now if we wish to, but um, for now we're okay I think. Uh, is there anything here that I'd even even recommend? You might bring along great magic weapon if you're planning on going into into melee. I suppose this could also be good, but it's not going to be any good against the boss anyway. So, yeah, I think I think we're okay. And it kind of does make me tempted to go and grab an extra instance of soul spear because that would be a good thing to slot there. If I'm thinking about it uh, logically, oh, there's still a spider left. Hello. Ooh. You thought I'd be good at dodging those by now. I've killed so many. So, obviously, farmed out the spiders. I went ahead and farmed out the uh, the necromancers that were above them as well. And all the necromancers that were out here, just because I could. I had a bit of time on my hands, and so I just kind of... I got rid of it all. You're still here, though. Um, we are going to have to to clear the area that we're heading towards in its totality. So, no worries about that. Oh, I didn't realise you were still alive. Oh, damn. Leave me alone. GSA doing the Lord's work, it's all good. Now, um, the summon in here is, not in here, the other door, sorry. The summon in here is probably worth using, um, just because I think there are other summons for the actual boss, and so having this meat shield with this is going to be um, kind of useful, just for dealing with all this stuff. We got another one come through there. Come on. You know you're there. I don't want no uh, rear ambushing. Come on now. There we are. So I'll bring this guy along. Just for uh, helping us clear things out purposes. I don't really know how much he's even going to get to kill because we're probably going to do most of it from range. Uh, so once we've got him, then we're going to come through this way. Uh, I think we already collected the item up here in the previous in the previous episode then. And so here we have an exit out into uh, into a different zone. Now we kind of touched on this area earlier on where we obviously saw the crystal lizard that was kind of close to where that spider is. We may kind of do a rush for that in a bit, but as you can see, just be just be careful here. Don't do any rushing forward. The uh, the idea here is that the enemies are gonna gonna come and ambush us to to death. We're gonna avoid that. Come on. Yeah. The uh, the weird upgraded basilisk has come. There's usually more, and, th and I'm pretty sure they can get underneath the the holes in the door. So just be careful. Come on. Huh? Let's get you out. There's one. 
jumped back and then missed the one at the front, didn't it? Oh, come on, battery. What are you even doing? What am I paying you for? Right. Uh, and so, I believe... I'm going to come up here. Should, things should look a little... familiar. No, maybe not. Got some loot, anyway. Torch that we're really desperate for. Get out this way. What's this? Watch that hat shard. Uh, you can't get onto there, as far as I can remember. Now then, there is a... Locked door in there. I can't remember how I get into it now. I can break this. Come on. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, but I feel, I feel like there's a locked door in here somewhere. Yeah, locked door. But I have no memory of. There's an item in there. I think we're actually going to get it in a bit when I think about it. So we'll be back for that later on. Put a put a pin in that for your mind. Uh, everything else around here. We've got the upper bit. We've already been, on to, been to the upper bit. Which you can get to from the earlier area. I don't think there's any other way to get over there. From this way. What is there? Is there another way? Don't think there is. No. I think it's just a shortcut to here. You can make the drop down. So we'll have to go around there, that back up that way to grab the um, the crystal lizard later anyway. Enemies here, I think, aggro on you. So you're going to want to clear these out from range. So as you can see, you take damage as you move across this stuff. These guys are resistant to it. Uh, you, however, won't be. So I do not advise going over there. Uh, and as we head forward, enemies are actually going to uh, drop off the top of there as well. So just be careful. A lot of enemies here, really. <clears throat> and the... Um, I don't want to necessarily say frustrating. But it's a little bit uh, dense with enemies for you to try running past all of this. Which is obviously a factor with the fact that we are about to go and face the boss. And we also have all this. Now then. We can trigger the sample early by shooting them. Uh, once you've hit one, they should all aggro. No? No one all aggro? Okay, something appears to be different to uh, how this usually goes. Here we go. And then, if you wish to, you can bring them all out here. And the fun thing about that is they're actually too wide to fit the bridge properly, and so they take damage for coming across. At least they used to be. Okay, maybe not anymore. Oh, come on. Right, Ray, do your job. I think Ray's been nothing but a disadvantage. In addition, there's a stone over there. I want to see, it's either a dark stone or a pale stone. And... Let's just say I don't think it's worth it. Maybe we'll grab it at the end after we defeat the boss. There's always a couple in here that want to try and trick you. And as you can see, there's a summon here. There's going to be uh, more summons as we go forward as well. Can we open this yet? No. So we're still missing the key for that as well. Okay, it's going to be one of these. Can't remember which one. Hello, me dude. I can't remember whether or not he respawns. I feel like he does. It's not a secret. There's a... I'm sure there's like a ladder... Hello you, we heard you, don't worry. Gives us that. 
And a memory of the key. We'll, we'll, we'll have a quick check around after the boss. This, this, this video is going to be titled after the boss, so if we need to do a cleanup, we'll do a cleanup afterwards. Going to be coming through here again anyway. Um, so it's up to you then if you want to get a torch out. But uh, we're not going to be doing much lock-on fighting in here to start with. You can light torches in here to make it lighter for you, and if you're, and Beta's going to be doing reruns, it's probably not a terrible idea. But there's a spider on the bottom of there. There we go. Oops. Come on. Oh, I'm out of, oh my god, I'm out of GSA. That's bad. Oh no. It's almost like this webbing there to try and stop you from doing that. I feel like there were some others we could get from here as well before we continue forward. Yeah, nope. Hello, you. <laughs> Trying to be sneaky. Alright, so we're just going to make sure we are being somewhat cautious. We don't get it caught out. Um, it's kind of deceptive, but you can uh, get through this room rather quickly by using the webs. Uh, and that's because um, these will actually flex when you drop onto them, and so you'll take less fall damage from these. Just worth knowing. But it's sticky, but also spongy. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll play with that idea in the in the rerun. You just can't hide these spiders, I'm sorry. <laughs> Torch. Barris Lockstone. Like, it doesn't even matter where, where they try to hide them, you just can't hide them, can you? Unless they're like in a in a tunnel or something. <laughs> Made them too big. Okay, so, as I'm going to say, you can snipe these before you go down. Now, whilst they're not the most troubling enemies in the world, just, there's no point in fighting fear, right? There's back for he is still here. <laughs> just not doing anything. Come on. Let's get out and fight then, come on. Let's do it. I was trying to not have to do this, but just taking too long. It's a bit of a rush fight, so just be careful. Can't believe you're taking great heavy solar arrows to the face like that. I'm probably going to end up wishing I'd uh, taken that other summon. I know there's more down here, so it's fine. There's at least one. Yeah, this one. I'll grab that in a minute. And I feel like there was one near the actual boss door. The amount of spiders in here is a bit mental. <laughs> Some spice. Still more spiders. And there's going to be more in the boss fight too. So I hope you don't have, like, severe arachnophobia or something. <laughs> you got stuffed in here. I feel like... Was it a spider around there? No. I feel like there was something behind this. At some point. But I only one someone down here. But Bashful Ray's last all the way from the beginning. So, kind of up to you who you want to bring in. We're also going to bring this one. Ashen Knight Boyd. I feel like the Hunter one has a bow. And so it ends up being a much better choice than, uh, than Bashful Ray. So you may want to banish him up there and then... Then bring that one down. But anyway, let's go to the, go for the fight. Uh, before we go in, might as well use some of this. Um, just be aware there are a lot of spiders in here. And so, uh, you probably are going to want to make sure you've at least preserved some spells. Let's make you want to go and get an extra extra soul spear already, even more. And maybe how we, how we end the episode, we'll go and get an extra... <laughs> Extra version of Soul Sphere. Uh, 
Ah, lots of spiders. And to be honest, they are the biggest threat right at the beginning. So, issue number one. Reduce their numbers down a bit. Try not to have your back to anything for too long. Um, this move set can be a bit crazy. That one there is, is quite damaging if you're not careful, but just kind of stay out of the way of it, you'll be fine. Uh, the other dangerous one is one where it'll try and like do a big swing. Oh no, that's oh no, that's my stuff's gonna. It'll try and like do a swing and knock you off the edge. So if you end up on this side of it, if you look to my right hand side right now, there's a big ledge that you can fall off, um, and that will basically just uh, try to knock you off it. Let's try and webs. And the funny thing is, it's concentrating on me and not the NPCs. So they're just doing free damage to it right now. And it can shield its head, so just be aware of that. Head is double-sided, though. That's just soul arrows, are. Well. Okay, let's do the heavy. I'll start rushing down a bit now. It's only really the head that takes damage, just be aware of that. Crazy jump, okay, sure. Come on now. Start messing around. There's there's the push one. That's the one that can kind of make you go really, really far and push you off. Wasn't quite as impactful as I remembered it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me hit you. There we go. That's better. This is what it wants to do. What are you doing? Oh, I did the... Grabby grab. Let's get these on it. Yeah, that's, that's the swing I remember. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Could have penetrated the leg for me. There we go, that's better. Get some damage on there. At least we've got enough casts to finish it now. We're fine. It's got some more friends coming now because we've taken so long. So again, oh, <laughs> I didn't even heal them from the first one. Oh, that's, that could be bad if this spider's near me. Let's get a couple of them on. Maybe shouldn't have done three. Now, once you've finished it off, the other spiders may still be aggressive. I can't remember now. Just be careful of uh, standing there in your victorious pose. There you go, do this. Do stiff, Rager. As I say, the, the, the spiders really are the biggest problem here, so just be careful. <clears throat> then I'm going to do this. Big dragon, in case you didn't notice it. <clears throat> and that's actually the sword that we're going to want. I feel like the, uh, the, the New Game Plus version is the Pale Drake Soul, which is the one that we need. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay, so let's leave. Let's leave. Good, Jesse. Uh, there's going to be another guy we need to fight in here. Now, um, for whatever reason, I remembered Vengal being in this room on the right-hand side. So I don't know what I've done or remember that's different, but we had him in the... Uh, in the ear. There's the brightstone key. So that's the key that I wanted from earlier. So we're going to go back anyway. And we get the fragrant branch. Boom! Which allows us to get the last thing in the... Shaded ruins. Well, that makes it. I may save it for now because I don't think it's actually anything that important for us. Surely Aldi is going to appear now. All right, let me just check. There's nothing else I need here. Immediately, we're going to have to come back anyway for the two locked doors. Okay, let's go. Aldi's going to have to appear here, surely. Boom. Yeah, there he is. I don't know why he's usually appeared way earlier for me now, so let me know if he does for you. Speak your piece. Join the 
Let's get through your dark one. Cool. So, uh, this is going to take us back to Filing Shrine, obviously. Now, let me just double check that Duke's Defrager's own soul doesn't give us something. I can't remember what it gives us. Let me just take a look. We'll go running off into the nether. With a myriad of souls. Bearer of the curse. Uh, yeah, it wanna have to give spider fang or spider silk, and we don't want either of those. Um I don't know why Duke's Defrager gives you two souls. And so being as we have one point to spend, let's uh, continue this. Which give me magic damage and, mag and cast speed. Mm -mm, give it to me now. Let me just check the mine. Sure, drops the drops the Peldrick. Yeah, all Peldricks all in New Game Plus. <laughs> it drops eighty four thousand souls in New in Energy Plus as well. Okay, so before we go off, yeah, let's get. Let's get an extra instance of Soul Spear. I feel like I should have done it ages ago, but I want one now. Or do I? Mm, I do. I do. I do. I'm sorry I'm being indecisive, I know. Uh, and it goes from the Bread Approach. Now, uh, for those that want to do this, you can actually do this as many times as you have Bonfire Aesthetic, we should actually have a fair few. Why is that there? What is that? I thought I got that. There's no enemy there. I thought we got that. And we ran off the ledge. Oh, very strange. Anyway. Uh, so the way, this, the way this works then. Shouldn't take very long. You've been a bonfire aesthetic right here. We've only got four. Ooh, we have to look out. We get get a couple extras. Anyway, gonna burn one of these here. And so probably I'm gonna gonna get one extra, one extra soul spear. What is done? Gotta be undone. I suppose because I've actually used a few going through some other areas. Right, we used one on the chariot. Used one on the on the skeleton lords. So uh, yes, I suppose I have. Burnt a few. So, so the enemies here are going to give us more de more uh, more souls now. Only marginally, because these don't really give that many souls in the first place. This guy might give us some, though. We may also get reinvaded, so just be aware of that. Although we'd have to go down to the left for that, I think. Quite nice, just how much damage we're still doing to you, though. Nice, great soul arrow. Because we've, it's because we've got the Staff of Wisdom doing, uh, doing some good work for us. You're going to run off. Yep, it's fine. Really not bothered about any of the other loot here. Uh, I don't think there are any other bonfire aesthetics. Um, there are, there is a loop in the game where you can loop bonfire aesthetics, which is going to be nice. Uh, you don't actually get extras, but it does. It is going to net us a lot of souls later on. Where are you? Yeah, you. Ooh, didn't finish it. Oh, it gets past the staff because you're fat. Come on, it's luck on. Hello, you. Uh, 
Where's the dog? I see ya. Oops, missed. Oh, your archer friend's gonna get me, is he? Damn it, not quite fast enough. Interesting that we also went knocking in back. We are still wearing the stone ring. Yeah, I know you can drop off because the bridge is already down. Yes, yes, yes. Flame butterfly. Yes, you. Oh, that jumped though. Damn. <laughs> the limitations have been a mage. A few, but they are pronounced. Now, where is Armored Boy? You're the only person that makes this dangerous, really. Probably should have soul speared you. Uh, you just got a block, aren't you? <laughs> Through the shield. And then... Boom. There we go. <laughs> Two soft spears. Way better. Um, and that probably would make most of the fights in the game way easier. I should have done this way ages ago. But, um... More specifically, it'll mean when I new, when I new game plus Duke Sith Rager in a minute, we will... Why are you not back? That's also interesting. <laughs> we will be able to burst it down that much faster. So, uh, we'll end the episode here then, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in the next one, I think I might just repeat exactly what we did in this one. Uh, and that way we can get the... Peldrek soul and open the doors that we uh, weren't able to open. Which seems to make sense. And we can test out the other summon as well. Live on the video. So I'll see you all soon back in uh, Lower Brightstone Cove. <laughs>